down here at uh, White Rock Lake, and uh, like I think it's like Northeast Dallas. Um, gonna try my luck, see if I can't catch some of these bass in these square bill crankbait. Uh, water's kind of stained. Usually I go with chartreuse, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this like uh, crawfish pattern because there's a little bit of rocks and debris under here on this bridge. Um, I'm gonna try my luck and see if I can't get me a few. Uh, stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on YouTube, or excuse me, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, like my Facebook page. Stay tuned, peace. All right, folks, today I'm using a square bill crankbait. Uh, I'm fishing uh, White Rock Lake. Um, got my uncle and his friend are out there kayaking, fishing. Uh, I don't have my kayak with me, so I decided I just want to tag along and fish from the bank. Uh, Right now I'm fishing under the bridge. They got a lot of lay downs and a lot of rocks. So therefore I wanted to throw a square bill crankbait. Um, I'm throwing the uh, crawfish pattern because it's a brighter color and it's stained water. So the, the bait will stick out more. The bass will be more inclined to see it and more inclined to strike it. The reason I'm throwing crawfish pattern also is because I'm fishing along a lot of rocks. Uh, I like to fish uh, each side of the pillar. I like to crisscross different angles. I'll throw in between the pillars, along the pillars. I'll throw over the, the branches and come work over it. Uh, I'll throw parallel to the bank. I'll also throw out to the deep and work my way in shallow. Uh, the reason I like square bill crankbait is because it deflects. It's a shallow running crankbait and it deflects off rocks. Um, when, I, when I say deflects off rocks, this is what I mean right here, watch. My lure's gonna come up, see that rock? Boom, just bounces off of it. Do doesn't really get snagged, it'll just bounce off of rocks. Let me show you one more time, right here. I've come along rocks, it'll just hit the rock and it'll just bounce off. It won't, it won't really get snagged. And if you do get snagged, you just walk opposite direction of the bank and it'll usually it'll come right off, going the opposite direction. Uh, like I said, I like to throw a parallel to the bank because it's shallow running crankbait and it's just gonna deflect off these, these rocks. And when it deflects off, it's usually when you get a bite or a strike from these bass. That deflection, it'll uh, trigger that, that uh, reaction bite. But as you saw that bait right there, it, this is coming from the deep. I'm gonna show you on this big rock one more time. Uh, as it comes from, as it's coming it along, it'll just bounce off rocks, bounce off debris. It doesn't really get snagged too much. It just bounces off, folks. And that's what you want. You want to have that deflection. It will cause a reaction bite from that fish. Uh, hope that's a helpful little tip. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And uh, here we go. I'm trying to catch some fish for y'all. Got him. There it is, folks. See that? Square bill crankbait. There it is, square bill. Yes, sir. Bass. There it is, folks. Look at that bass. Don't go away. There he goes. There it is. Sweet! There it is. There it is. Good one. Oh, a little bass. Is that better than nothing? There it is, folks. Bass number two for the day. There it is, little bass. <laughs> White Rock Lake. Oh, 
short one. <clears throat> nice. Number three for the day. Chill, 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 chill. Get out of there. <laughs> He's like, get out of here. Sweet. <laughs> 